What is up guys and girls, welcome to the first video of what well, hopefully will be, if I can be bothered to get out of bed in the morning, be a series of videos explaining and delving into a world that I have thought about for 7 years of my life, because let's face it, lockdown was hard for a film student and I have no friends. So after the happy message of welcome, I give the first Gerardon lore video, the world, map and shores, regions of Gerardon. The map of Gerardon split into two continent islands. The left island, of the very common map seen throughout the population of the world, is called Rune, and the right is called Arryn. In the ancient text and myth of Gerardon, it is said that the gods created the world when they slayed a great dragon, Golmoth. The body of the dragon fell into the water of the world, and the islands were created. However, since time has gone on, that story is now called myth. The most populated and wealthy region of Gerardon is called Garantine. This is most known for being the home of the capital where the so-called Empress sits in a high castle by the sea. However, he himself has never been seen in the city and it is run by a council of politicians. South of Garantine is Marshwell, the home and seat of power of the Quinneth, a dangerous group of people manned by bounty hunters and gangs. The city of Muslin Town is the home of the leaders of Gwyneth. Marsh Marshwell is made up of marshland and it is said to have lush caverns underneath the surface. However, great beasts roam the land and it is a very wild place, most profitable for people who want to venture there, depending on whether you want to get killed or not. Southwest of Marshwell is Paldin, home to great groups of men. Paldin is most famous for the knights who come from there. The west of the land is very ancient, Ruins of old cities lie there, lost to history when the ashen came from the far north. However, far south is the city of Paldengard. This city is often known as the younger brother of the capital, as it rivals its strength, however lacks the size. The terrain and lushness of the region is not seen anywhere else around the world. It is said that the coral that grows in the waters in Palden grows right up on the beaches, and beautiful flowers grow near where the tropical trees grow. However, the region is lived under fear of the volcano west of Paldingard, and it is said that someday that the volcano will spout fire like the dragon once did. This calamity is known as the Fires of Golmoth. Heading north from Palden is the mountainous region of Citalian. This region is home to two great peoples, the Councillors Guild, a group of battle mages who live in the high places called Aramonden. It is said that they made the rock and pieces of the land fly in places which look over the Ilian Bay. In the south of the region is an ancient city of Ithiliavan, notable for the Tower of Secrets. In the north of Ilian is a smaller city called Belavan. Snowrock is not much talked about or travelled to, as it lies just below Ashfell. However, what is known about the icy glaciers, snow-tipped mountains and frosty lakes is that a nomad people live there. They say they are Viking-like, carry big axes and grow taller than any man. Ashfell is an island not talked about due to its people in ancient times invading the capital and with ships from the air. Nothing is known of history about Ashfell. Fellwood is a land of many cultures and people. In the north lies a walled city of Chisian. The people who live there live with honour and are known as great warriors. In the south of Fellwood is the mountain range of Avondel. In the middle of this mountain range, and rumoured to have halls all the way under it, is the dwarven city of Gallenhide, said to have halls of gold and people of great architecture. In the far north of Gerardon is High Alrun, home of much of the elven race. The people keep themselves to themselves as they do not like outsiders, and are rarely send envoys to the capital. The terrain there is made of far lush woodland. East of this and the last region of the island of Alrun is Marowak, a desert of tribesmen and beautiful beaches with small rivers zigzagging along the shore. The mountains, however, are home to cults, and this land is mostly barren. The island of Rune is 
is made up of three regions and the last regions of this video. In the south is the desert region of Karban, with its great pyramids and great pillars of rock. It is also the seat of the city of Abresh and its Albrechtian people. The city is most notable for its famous brothel, Lady Rav, and its adventurers that come and go from the city with its beautiful bay. However, it is in constant battle of politics, as people do not like magic being used within the city walls. North and the middle of the continent is the Great Rock. The riverlands here are home to many of the Orc tribes and is home of the city of Axelhead. The wilds in this area are savanna plains, wide and vast. Tall pillars of rock stand out from the rolling plains. The final region we're going to talk about is High Rank. It is a tropical place and home to two noticeable places of population. Hors Rest is a small city off the coast for the bounty hunters and more noticeable, the pirates. The entire city is made up of all shipwrecks and parts of bone. Further north, and an entire island of its own, is Titan. The region is most notable for its jungle except for the tropical islands and Titan, which is also a tropical except for the its city's walls. And there we have it. The world of Garadon in the 4th age and its map and atlas of the world. Soon I'll post up more videos explaining explanations of each region and its people, politics and more noticeable points in time. Along with these lore videos I'll talk about the races, guilds of Garadon, and if there isn't really anything up your street, soon I'll be posting more sorts of videos from Elder Scrolls to Star Wars lore and God willing if I get paid enough by my boss, which I Love, I meant love. I'll be posting up gaming and funny moments. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I am Angel Lucifer, and it's been a joy.